Hello YouTube, this is another unboxing and overview. This is the Asus motherboard. It's a P8H67M Pro motherboard. Uh, if you see the front here, it's got the new H67B3 revision. Um, previously, all Sandy Bridge motherboards did have a problem with their chipsets with the SATA controller, but that's been sold with the B3 revision. You can see on the outside of the box here, um, it's a H67 chipset, supports the Intel Core i3, 5 and 7 range, it's a LGA1155 socket, Windows 7 ready, and solid state capacitors, GPU boost, USB 3.0, SATA 6 gigabits per second and it's energy saving as you know the industry is pushing this eco friendly thing uh, at the back you just have the diagram of the motherboard and protect 3.0 technology so radiation protection, low radiation. Anyway, let's get that open for you. Okay. Let's leave the accessories to last and let's go on to the main board. It comes in your usual anti-static bag. So let's start off at the back here. You have a keyboard and mice port. Uh, two USBs here. You have optical port, HDMI out, VGA, DVI, onboard VGA that is. And you got USB 3.0 which they put a sticker there for. So it's kind of feature proof. You've got your all your HD audio sound ports there um, you've got your solid state capacitors there as you can see voltage regulation there uh, you have a total of six SATA 2 ports Four DDR3 slots. As you can see, the color scheme is quite nice. So I would say it's an attractive motherboard. Um, it's quite small because it is a MATX form factor. It is crossfire ready. So you have you can put two graphics card there. You've got two PCIs for a bit of upgradability and you have your heat sinks here. So, so there's your quick overview of the motherboard. I'll put that aside and we'll have a quick look at the accessories it comes with. Standard IO shield ID if anyone is still old school and you've got two SATA 2 cables quick start user manual and of course the motherboard user guide feels like there's a CD in there and yeah that's your driver CD uh, I recommend you just directly download your drivers from the ASUS website uh, that's because you can get all the updated drivers from there these drivers might be outdated uh, you've got your case badge here if anyone wants to put the case badge on and that's about it really okay thank you and please subscribe